let's go fam we are back welcome back everyone and if you're new here please consider hitting that sub button as we continue to try to build great things over here okay so some of you may remember about a week ago i posted a video that i was actually shadow banned on warzone slash modern warfare well i found a method that works for me i figured i would share it share the knowledge with everyone okay real quick i just want to say that this method will only work if you're planning on playing on a new account you will not be able to play on your existing account as you'll have to wait probably about a week or so before your account is unflagged and again this is what has worked for me there's so many different methods on youtube and different videos but i, I feel like i've tried them all i've tried the hardware id spoofer i've tried all of that and nothing has seemed to work this is the only method that i have found that actually works okay so i have a two pc setup i got one for gaming one for streaming and editing and when you get shadow band activision Battlenet, they take a combination of your hardware ID and all of your different addresses, your IP and your Mac and all that. Now, people will tell you, and you could go buy a spoofer, but I'm, I've am i tried it and it, it did not work for me. And then you're just sitting and putting money into something that you don't even know if it's going to work or not. So this is what I did. On my main gaming rig right here, I completely wiped everything. I got a new Windows. I deleted Modern Warfare, obviously, Battlenet, all of that. I completely wiped it. Then right after I did that, I went right over here to my streaming PC. I logged into my account and I figured I would just jump on the game. And as soon as I jumped on there, I noticed, you know, I was shadow banned on that too. So they obviously flagged my normal account to where it doesn't matter a lot, like what PC you play on. You're still going to be shadow banned is what I'm trying to say. So your boy was just sitting here yesterday, right? And I was like, you know what? What do I got to lose? Why not just make a new account and try it on my streaming PC? And one of the uh, new security features at Battle.net uh, put in is the SMS phone verification thing. Well, I can link down a website down there so that way you guys can bypass it to make a new account. It, it's not free, it's like a buck, but it gives you a brand new phone number if you don't have one intact because you'll need that to make a new account, unfortunately. And then once I added the uh, new phone number to the account, I went on to uh, Activision's website and I linked the accounts together. So that was all taken care of before I even had to enter the game and risk any kind of uh, shadow ban detection, I guess. And after all of that BS, we finally made it to the lobby. We searched for a game and it was that normal ping. It didn't, it didn't go from 80 to 350, it was normal. And uh, I was kind of surprised. Now real quick before you click off this video, there's a couple things to keep in mind if you're taking this strategy. If you're in a situation like I am and I'm good to go on my streaming PC and I'm playing the game and everything's working as it's supposed to, make sure you do not download Call of Duty, Modern Warfare or Battle.net on your main rig or don't even download it again on a console. There's something about downloading, re-downloading the game where it's the shadow ban is going to, to uh, detect your new account and then your new account is just going to be shadow ban too. I know it's really weird, but that's how it is. So you just have to make do with uh, your streaming PC or whatever you got, whatever's working for about a week or so. Then after a week, obviously you can test the waters and try to get back on your normal rig or your console or whatever. Oh, something else too. If you are shadow banned and you can't get on, you can't play and you're forced to play in these 350 ping lobbies, if you can actually find a game, make sure you play those then obviously make sure you're legit. We don't condone cheaters. Play those, they're gonna suck, but you need to show Activision that, hey, hey man, I'm not cheating, you know? So now what I do is, when my main account is unshadow banned, I'm playing on my main PC, I'll go over to my streaming PC and, and I'll keep that new account logged in. Because if you have that new account logged in, and you get shadow banned on your main PC, that new account should be good to go. As long as you delete everything on your main rig first before you go over to that one, you shouldn't be shadow banned. But that's it, man. That's it. I, I hope I could really um, help some of you guys out who are having these issues. It's not perfect. I mean, yeah, I would love to just be able to play my regular account, but it is what it is. I mean, at least I can play the game on, on a new one, you know, and not worry too much. All right, I'm out of here. Make sure you hit that sub button and go kill it. Peace.